and welcome to my reaction to Dragon Ball episode 82. And I just realized I didn't say everyone, I said everyone. <laughs> Hi everyone! Uh, or how can I say it in Japanese? Yo, minna! In the live chat, I'm just gonna stop being awkward, we have Modru, Sotos, Serdriguez, Antonio, Sad Rebel, Odinoko, Dark Shadow, Sotos is here. And he hasn't, as far as I've noticed, left even once to talk to his boss. I'm impressed. <laughs> um, did I say Antonio? Nox is here. Uh, Luke is here. And I'm not sure. Moonlight. Booty. Here we go. Um, it's. I'm gonna try and read it. Abare kaiju. Abare kaiju, because kaiju means beast. And then, of course. I don't know how to read this. It I think that one's ka and that one's u. Okay. It, that's not I'm reading this one wrong. I keep thinking it's u, but I think it's o. Kaiju. Kaiju? Is it the number 8? Inoshika cho. Isn't that a Naruto team? Maybe that Naruto team was a reference. They just need to go uphill. It, it could help so the mom can jump off. Do you have to ask? Wow. Nice. Good job, Goku. Yeah, Ino, Shikamaru, and Choji. Ah. Isn't that, that just Oolong? Looks like Oolong to me. It's a butterfly pig. <laughs> Choji, I wonder if he's kind. Is the audio okay? Oh, short hair! He, oh, he looks so cute with this. Did he fix it? Okay, it's not long hair Yamcha, but maybe it's the outfit. Oh, it's the outfit. That's why I'm like, I, I got this nostalgic feeling and I was like, short hair Yamcha's back. No, wait, he didn't have short hair. That's not why I'm nostalgic. He always, he had long hair. It's the outfit. Ah, now he just needs his long hair. It instantly gave me this nostalgic feeling. And then I was like, short hair? Wait, no, that's not why I'm excited. Oh, mm, oh. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> the crane. Who's the crane? And that's the Inoshikacho. Mm. He can eat the Inoshikacho. Oh, but now he was someone's pet. Now I can't, I don't want you to eat him. Oh, I, I've, I might, I think I've seen these characters at least before in promotional things. Oh, Ino, Boar, Shika, Deer, Cho, Butterfly. Ino, Shika, Cho! I'm joking. I don't know anything about these characters except I've seen their designs. Or at least the one guy. I have a bad feeling about this. Chee! 
I knew it. They go around and the boar attacks the villagers and then they defeat the boar and then they get the money. But it's all a scam. I got that feeling. It's always f just funny to see how confident some people are because they look at him and they think he's some kind of, you know, just a kid they can kill off. So it's just funny because uh, we know how strong he is to hear them say that because you're just like. <laughs> the voice acting there was brilliant. Like, I'm so tired of this bullshit. <laughs> I can't say it. I'm trying to, to hear the words I can say it, but it's too long, the sentence. Oh, you need breakfast. Oh, gosh. This family going from one village to the next, running from the Inoshikacho. Go back to the first village! I mean, it was pretty obvious, I think, from the moment that this one said, Oh, only a hundred thousand zeni for this dangerous job? Even though they defeated it so easily. So that's when I guess I thought, like, this is all a scam! That's so sweet that he. Oh, you such a good boy, even though it's filler. That's so sweet. The villagers are not at fault here because they've been tricked, mm, but... I wish they would stop. Like, you, you ran him out of town. Go back to your houses. Oh. 
He needs aloe vera for something. I don't know what you use for a burn. Oh. Smack him. So I was like, I'm done with these people. They need a good smack. I mean, they don't need, we don't need to hurt them a lot, but you know, just, just enough to stop them from shooting. You know? <laughs> oh, I thought that guy, he's, he has, a, he has a, a cane in his hand. I thought that was a god. I was like, he's like, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> I thought he was like, wait, wait, wait. I got a gun too. Be careful now. Stop the shooting before I shoot too. <laughs> You'd mean those two scam artists. Ah, oh, so that they were introduced here so that he could fight them. I wonder if, you know what happens sometimes if they introduce, if they put cannon into filler. The only problem is sometimes when it comes to the cannon, they don't like nod to the filler. They just pretend like the filler never happened. So like I'm wondering if when we get to the cannon part, will Goku recognize them? Will they... Will he, will they nod to the, like that, he, will he say like, oh, you are those two guys, or will it be like he saw them for the first time? I, I hope that, we'll see. Aww. あ。あ。あの、キュート。キュートなキュートなイノシカチョ。この流れ去った謎の I skip right to the next one. I don't think we need to read for filler episodes. I don't think we need to read anything because there will be spoilers about the characters that was introduced most likely. So. Sorry, I want a piece of my banana. Okay, so this is definitely not filler anymore. Three years time skip? So he was, what, 11 or 12, and he's like 15 now? Umasu! Did they just look at the eagle in the sky and say, that looks delicious? That's how people got KFC. Got back then. Sorry, I read it wrong. I still haven't gotten used to be seeing Goku with that outfit. I like it. I know that's not what you said, but I'm used to it. I like that he stole it and he's been sporting it for three years. He didn't steal it. He asked for it and the guy gave it. So, the dog. Three v one is not very nice. He does look slightly taller, but I don't know if that's... His neck looks longer. Yep, same. A seemingly friendly fox. Seemingly friendly. 
there were, maybe there was a reason why they were chasing him. Still don't think 3v1 is very nice, but... Isogashi Goku. So that's obviously Hari Goku, Isogashi. Wait, is it Iso? No, it isn't. Sorry, I assumed. Isogashi means busy. This is Isoge. Isoge Goku. Ah, oh, okay. Tenkaichi Budokai. Yay, I picked up on my own mistake. That's progress. That was all his food. Maybe he's not that bad after all. Airport? Yeah. The first time he went, do you guys remember his little suit? And then Krillin in his little suit, it was so cute. Did she just say next week at three? When does the next day? Next week at three. Which day? Yeah, somewhere. S somewhere at three. <laughs> that narrows it down to seven. Exactly, but he could always run. I don't think he has any money though. Uh-oh. 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 A seemingly nice fox being chased by those guys saying you thought you could get away. And first of all, he's a fox. And he's saying Aniki, Aniki all the time like that. Like he's in some kind of gang or something. I don't trust people who are quick to call me Aniki. Yeah, if you get close too fast. But he did he did save his life, so but it was the narrator who said seemingly nice fox. <laughs> Just find a street fight somewhere. Oh, he's gonna pickpocket. That's usually how Goku makes his money, right? I hate stuff like this. He's so right. It's easy in big crowds to steal from people because Yuki was here in South Africa when Yuki was here. I mean, she's from Japan, so she was a guest in our country. And then when we she went to our, her first rugby game with me and Hanku and my dad and my mom, and there was like a bunch of people. And the, a guy tried to pickpocket her, but she noticed. And then we were all like, Huh? Huh? What you trying to do? Huh? And then we just kind of scared them off. But people do that and they're not necessarily... But I mean, that, that might just be one thing that they... We didn't beat his ass, no. But he was taken off. I think he was chased away by security. But it has happened a lot. And um, when I was in university, there there is like some people, they're called barhis. I don't know why they're called barhis. Um, but they're basically bombs. And then... Uh, I was walking and I felt someone slip something out of, I think it was, I don't know, but I just felt something and I, and I turned around and I saw the person like slipping it into their, I don't know, under their shirt or something. And then I just said, Hey, give me back my phone. And then she threw it back at me and she was just swearing and da, 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 da. And there was this other time where those same People, they ask for, there's one famous one. She's famous in the student town, right? And um, if you give, she asks for like money. And then if you give her not enough, she chases you. And it's kind of like this joke on campus, but actually it's quite dangerous. But it's because it's that, that specific one that's famous as a woman and she's often very drunk. But it can be very dangerous. So be careful when you come to South Africa and you're in big crowds. But that's really the 
case in any big city or something. It's not... But yeah. Wow. Oh. Oh, is that how they're going to win the money? It's a scam. Of course, it's a scam. The house always wins. But I mean, this is Goku. He might break the scam. <laughs> Whoa! Denny, Denny, gimme. Wow, he didn't have to steal it, and he likes kids. Can't be that so bad, I guess. A tight fisted fellow. Thanks for the recap. I forgot what happened at the start of the episode. Oh, she can see. Probably owes them money. Oh, but he's so small, I feel bad for him. Goku! Goku! Taskete kudasai! No! I saw it! No! No! She's gonna want to take part. Oh, I saw on wife wars. I think I saw Balma's short hair once. And but she was she looked older. I thought it would be much, much, much later. Now I know how my dad felt when I cut my hair. But they're forcing him to rob the bank. They said we have a job for you. Oh, who's been framed?
But then say that you've been framed. Stop saying I didn't do it, I didn't do it, and say what happened. But he gave it back. I love that I fight bad guys no matter who they are thank you Maruo for the sub welcome I just want to wait how do I my phone is in for repairs I just want to screenshot this this is my new phone <laughs> I'm kidding, it's not. I ha I bought this uh, six and a half, seven years ago because I wanted to learn how to draw. <sighs> that did not happen. That's nice of her. <laughs> I love how it's just casually running and catching up to them so fast. It means it could really have run to the Tenkaichi Budokai or swim there, whatever. Throw the bullets back. See how they like it. <laughs> I hope the green fox goes with Uranai Baba and turns over a new leaf. Oh, I bought him. A, he brought the lollipop for him. Kinky dona. Is this? Was this fella? It doesn't feel like it, but I don't know. The part with Uranai Baba saying she'll do it for free. <laughs> well, she actually didn't say she'll do it for free. She said. Well, you can pay me back later. But that felt like, is that really the real Uranai, the canon Uranai Baba? But I think it might be. She she loaned money to her brother after all. And she's not really expecting it back, I think. She's just, you know, hanging it over his head. Oh, oh cute. That's freaking cute. I bet it's going to be that little boy's like nanny. Like Manny. You know, a, a male nanny, Manny. He would be so good at that. She knows they're good for it. She can tell. <laughs> we'll see. <gasps> oh, that's the guy from the photo with the Inoshishi Inoshikacho. <laughs> the crane. <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay, okay. Was that canon? <clears throat> Tenkaichi seems pointless at this point. Goku is clearly super strong now. But I think that you know how the stronger you get, the stronger your opponents will get. The stronger it was filler. Oh, but it's okay. I like I like that. It was good filler. Um, how to say? There's an anime that touches on this. The stronger the superheroes get, the stronger the villains will get. Like, if, if there are villains and the superhero come in to stop them, the villains will get stronger and the super villains and, and superheroes will get stronger and so they will kind of like, you know? And that's kind of like life as well. I mean, you get sick and then you get medicine, but then the sick learns to fight the medicine, so you have to get better medicine, so... Da -da 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 -da. Same thing. So I think in that sense, everyone was watching the previous Tenkaichi Budokai. So they could see what level of strong you need to be to even have a chance at winning. 
So I think it inspires people to train harder or even stronger opponents to actually come because the stronger opponents wouldn't even bother, the strongest wouldn't even bother with the Tenkaichi Budokai if the winners were not nothing to get excited about. So that's why I think the Tenkaichi Budokai is probably going to be something that keeps going for a long time because what I remember when I was, I told you guys before, I was watching Dragon Ball Z like a couple of episodes when I was in grade 7 or grade 6. Um, so I know characters like Bulma and no, I never knew she was introduced right at the start, but um, I knew Goku, I knew Gohan. That's why I got confused at the beginning with Goku and his, his name because I kept in my mind Gohan was the small one. Um, I know the pink guy, I know Frieza, I know Piccolo, I know a lot of the characters and the, but I don't really remember what I watched. Like, I don't remember the story at all, except I remember at least the concept of the, of the fighting thing, the Tenkaichi Budokai, I didn't know the name, but because one character that was introduced and I don't remember how the fight went I just this character's name stands out to me is this Satan and when I was young I mean that was I was so shocked so I can't wait to get to Dragon Ball Z one day and actually see like what is this character like is he is he strong or is he as ridiculous as his name suggests but my point is that I think it makes sense to me that the Tenkaichi Budokai would be something that carries through up until Dragon Ball Z because as the stronger the winners get, the stronger the opponents will get with time. In racing video games, there exists something called rubber banding, which makes it so no matter how fast you go, your opponent will always be not too far behind you. This is to discourage players from getting complacent and keep the game interesting, and it applies to most fighting series as well. There will always be a stronger opponent to beat. But that's in life as well. It's not just... It's something that naturally happens in life too. Because if if this is the max and it inspires people to reach for it and then it passes it. But then once that happens, it inspires people to reach for it and pass it. So you can never really become complacent in life because evolution. <laughs> oh. So... We can't become complacent in life, actually, because there will always be another challenge, another, you know. I'm really sad about Bulma's hair, though. I, I, a part of me wishes that was filler, but it's not. I'm not ready to let go. I'm so biased for short hair and long hair. Like, I don't even, don't get me wrong, with, with male characters like Yamcha, I really liked his long style, but that doesn't mean I always like long hair on guys. But with girls, I really prefer, like, at least... If if it's going to be short, it has to be a stylish blonde bob. But I at least prefer shoulder length. Uh, but the longer, the better. <laughs> I really like long hair. Uh, even though it's a mission to wash and style. That's why I cut mine. But I didn't cut it... I wouldn't cut it shorter than my shoulders ever again, I think. I never say never, but I wouldn't want to. But when people become, I thought if Bulma was going to cut their hair, it would be much later. Like, because when you're older and you 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 become like a parent or whatever, obviously it makes sense. You just want your hair to be out of the way because you're also even taking care of Paige. Like, she pulls. <laughs> so you have to like, just get it out of the way. Um, so, I mean, it makes sense after a certain point in life, but I just really... I'm gonna miss her long hair, longer hair, okay? I would love to see a Balma, a Balma um, fan art with long hair, but I'm scared to Google something, but I'm gonna... No, I won't because I'm scared of spoilers, but someone sent me a Balma fan art with long hair because I think she would look so gorgeous. I think most girls would look really gorgeous with long hair. I know there's many girls that can pull off a pixie cut and... They just look amazing. But for me, my bias, personal taste, is long hair looks prettier on girls in general. Okay. I feel the strongest pain was Frankie losing his amazing hairstyle. That hurt too, yeah. And it's not even a case of getting used to it. Like, sometimes it's just a bad change. Like, like, some, like with opening songs, for example, 
oftentimes the new a new opening song is not as good for me as the first but you just t need to take time to get used to it but with haircuts and stuff if the original is just that good oh, and the change is doesn't match up to it then it's just sad it's not a it's not about getting used to it it's just sad there's an interesting uh, uh we don't have really much time oh this is cool it's a ranking of all of frankie's hair but I think there's some manga images here, but it's probably just covers, not actual. That was the best. <sighs> I miss, like not even just his hair, but his original design. It was, but I like his newer design. It makes, it, but still, his hair. <laughs> uh, um, I, I, I did wanna talk about something. Um, regarding a commenter i wanted to hear your guys's opinion so i'll be brief though because we don't have that much time i still need to do uh four more reactions to dragon ball but um so me and hunter were recently talking because hunter is used to like in the past especially with attack on titan people that when their comments are incessant and antagonistic Sometimes we just ban them because it gets exhausting because of how many Attack on Titan comments there were. So if you have people that are just there to fight, it's just not worth having them, right? So I, when my mods were around, especially during Attack on Titan times, they were operating under a certain kind of way. So someone got blocked recently, but my mods post about it when they get blocked. So someone got blocked, which if it was... An Attack on Titan comment during Attack on Titan days, I would understand, especially because it was every single video that this person was making these kinds of comments. But then I talked and I said, you know what, my Dragon Ball videos aren't overwhelmed with comments. It's like, and he's not particularly doing anything wrong except being ex just excruciatingly annoying. Um, because it is a little bit, it feels spammy because it's like every video, the same thing over and over and over again. But anyway, we we didn't ban him in the end, but I just wanted to read to you guys his comment, the kinds of comments that he keeps making. So I just wanted to get your guys' opinion if you understand where I'm coming from and where, but why you would you would feel like this person is even worse. It's not public shame time. I'm not going to mention his name, but I just want to hear. Okay, so this is the kind of comments he keeps making. Goku is the most popular and iconic anime manga character ever created. What I love about Goku is that he has a real development, in all caps, and not just states the same for selling toys, like Ash Ketchum, Luffy, Gon. Akira Toriyama risked something, but it was a legendary choice. One Piece has a lot of problems. It's more about quantity instead of quality. The animation feels rushed and there are hundreds of stretched episodes and moments, which is hilarious, but I don't think he was intended to be funny. Because stretched episodes, One Piece. <laughs> anyway. The manga is badly drawn compared to Akira Toriyama. Even One Piece fans said that One Piece had bad panels because Oda is rushing everything and only cares about the story. Ugh. Imagine a writer only caring about the story. Ugh. Personally, I don't feel like Akira Toriyama would be proud of one of his fans commenting this kind of stuff, but okay. Characters doesn't die just like the villains and they never have develop development, just backstory. One Piece is a stretch story who should end long time ago, but they didn't end it because of success. It doesn't feel real anymore after a time skip. It's more like a product. Because of its success, it doesn't feel real anymore. It was so good, it's suddenly fake. One Piece, uh, what, what? Oh, show, Shonen should be enjoyable, epic and watchable, but I can't enjoy One Piece anymore. Just like the fans who compare everything to it, even if it is the father of it, and even if it's just a seven out of 10. So this guy apparently is really mad because he says, I keep comparing One Piece and Dragon Ball which I absolutely don't. I just said like I watched One Piece before Dragon Ball and that I can see how Luffy was inspired by Goku, but once I called Luffy Goku, I mean Goku Luffy, because, you know, their energy is the same, but anyway. He, but he's very mad at me apparently because 
yeah, I keep comparing it, but I don't. <laughs> it should be quality over quantity, just like Akira Toriyama did it. But Oda is quantity over quality. Ronaldo has more games, but Messi has better statistics. Ronaldo has more games, but Messi has more trophies. Always you compare. I will explain how overrated and overhyped right now One Piece is. So I said, like, this is definitely annoying, but he's not breaking any rules. Um, so we'll just leave the comment up. It might inspire some interaction, which is good for the channel. But honestly, this is not the kind of person I would even reply to because, I mean, being this, not aggressive, but like this incessant about my, like, I've made comparisons, but I absolutely haven't. Like saying Shonen has certain characteristics that are similar that's not a comparison I'm, i never once ever said one piece is better like that he's art he's talking the way that he's commenting this on every single video it's like he it's like i said to him one piece is better than dragon ball and i never said that so dragon ball super exists by the way don't forget about gt he it, he feels so the what the word what's the word um I'm no unself aware. It's actually funny. That's why I said to to Hunter, like, I don't even need to block this guy because his his comments are actually so bad. It's hilarious. Like, it doesn't even. You know how with Attack on Titan commenters, they were being really. Like, they actually gave me something to work with. Like, if I'm gonna argue with someone, at least make a good point or or sound like you're making a good point. He absolutely doesn't make any points worth talking about or to at all. I just wanted to say, yeah, this is what we've been dealing with. But I think you guys would agree with me. It's not fan worthy. It's just incessant and annoying. Both exist because Dragon Ball was super successful and Toei wanted to put more Dragon Ball story. Oh, so you mean Super and GT, yeah. So, yeah, I just wanted to, I think at this point, he's kind of like infamous in my comment, in my Dragon Ball comment section. Um, so I just wanted to point him out. He's kind of like an idol, but a negative idol. <laughs> Famous, but infamous, because infamous is a better word. GT was made just to sell more stuff to fans. My Hair Academia is ready to post. Oh, okay. So let me end the video here, post My Hair Academia, and then I'll come back for episode uh, what episode are we on now? 84. Will you watch Dragon Ball Evolution? Maybe if you remind me closer to the time. I could put it on the schedule. Dragon Ball have some toxic fans. There's not too many of them, but they're definitely out there. Well, you know, Shonen. The Shonen... Remember how the comparisons between, what, Naruto, Bleach, One Piece, and, 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 and. There are just some crazy fans out there, so... A Dragon Ball hater is not going to bother me because the majority of the fans are so nice. And like what I don't understand is you can love Dragon Ball and love One Piece. But the worst kind of fans think you have to choose and they, and they want everyone to choose. So if you don't make a choice, if you don't choose their show, you're automatically against them. And that's who that kind of guy is. Like I, I never even said I like this more than that or that more than whatever. Even though I've had, I have... I've watched One Piece for years, so obviously by default I'd have more attachment to one than the other. But I never said one is better than the other or anything like that. And this guy, be because, just because I don't outright state Dragon Ball is God and da 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 he, he immediately sees me as the enemy. Those kinds of fans are very, they, they can be difficult to deal with unless you just ignore them. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just ignoring him for the most part. But I did want to point it out just because it's entertaining in some way. Yeah, they live in a different world. So. I, I do have a slight urge to just tell him about something silly. Like the way he says, oh, One Piece is now just a product. It's there to make money. Like I, I literally want to just say to him, like what you guys said, GT super whatever but i haven't watched those things so i haven't made up my mind about if if it's true so i'll have to get there before i can say anything so okay <clears throat>
I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.